everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats, and this is my cat, Wessie. In this week's video, we're taking a look at the Base Paws Cat DNA Test, talking about what this test does, what it looks at, and how you can get a Base Paws DNA test for free. So first off, I want to mention that this video is sponsored by Base Paws. So they're giving us the opportunity to provide you, our viewers, um, with a free DNA test kit. So I'll give all the details on that giveaway at the end of the video. You can also check out the details in the description. Um, but I'm going to do my best to give you my genuine impressions of the Base Paws Cat DNA test and my experience using this product and service. So with that introduction out of the way, let's get a bit of background on what BasePaws does. So BasePaws offers a cat DNA test that gives you insights into a couple of things. One is your cat's genetic similarity to various breeds, and it also offers a health report. So this is going to tell you about genetic indicators that your cat may be predisposed to certain conditions. The other thing that BasePaws offers is an opportunity to kind of contribute to this new field of research. Cat DNA testing is pretty new. Basepaws was one of the first companies to get into this. And what they're doing is really furthering our understanding of feline genetics. So I've tried the cat DNA test twice. The first time was back in 2020 with my cat Wessie, who's behind me. And the second was earlier this year with my cat Forrest. So you're going to get this box, which contains everything you need to collect and submit a sample. So you're going to want to collect your sample uh, at least 30 minutes after your cat's had anything to eat or drink, and then you're going to insert that swab into their cheek pocket. And that swab should stay in there for about 10 seconds. And then once you've swabbed about in there for about 10 seconds, you're going to take the swab and then put it into this stabilizing liquid inside of the tube. Now it's important to remember to record the 14 digit code on that tube because that's the only way BasePaws is able to connect your sample to you as a customer. So it's important to record that sample before you send it in. Once you have put everything back into that biohazard bag, you're going to seal up that box and then send it off to the lab. In the United States, your return postage is already paid for. If you're in Canada or any other country outside of the United States, you're going to have to pay for that shipping yourself. BasePaws says that the test results should be processed in somewhere between four to six weeks, um, and that's been consistent with my experience. So again, this is a pretty big report, but there are certain pages that are going to be a bit richer and more informative than others. And the first of those is the breed analysis. So again, BasePaws doesn't really tell you if your cat is half Maine Coon or half Siamese or anything like that. And that's because cats have not been bred the way that dogs have been. They have not been selectively bred for thousands of years. And in fact, the practice of breeding cats has only been around for about 150 years. So instead, BasePaws looks at your cat's probably quite mixed genetics, and they compare those genetics to patterns seen in different breed groups. They've identified four different breed groups, so those are Western, Eastern, Persian, and Exotic, as well as a polycat breed group, which is kind of a genetic soup of mixed cats. And again, using these comparisons, we're able to kind of map out certain similarities between your cats and these breeds. So for example, we can see here that Forest seems to have the most similarity with the Western breed group. Um, if we drag the slider all the way over to Confident, we can see that seemingly Norwegian forest cat is the biggest distinct single breed in that breed group. And then the rest of it is just kind of this broader Western group. And then you can see a further breakdown of the breed groups with which she has some similarity as well as some specific breeds in there. Overall though, her genetics seem to be mostly polycat, so she's just a very mixed cat. Is she associating with that Western breed group because she's a tabby? We don't really know. Um, and this is the kind of information that we're waiting to come out from Base Paws as they expand their database and are able to give us more, more interesting information. The next section is the Wildcat Index, which is kind of fun. We're looking at how forest genetics are similar to four different types of wildcats, and apparently she's the most similar to a cheetah. She is very fast, so interesting. 
The next section is probably the most valuable and that's the health markers section. So this looks at 38 different genetic markers associated with 16 different diseases. And it's going to evaluate uh, how these mutations or the lack thereof indicate your cat's predisposition to different conditions. And Forrest came back all clear on all of these uh, genetic mutations. If she did have some of these mutations associated with a predisposition to these conditions, I could take that to her veterinarian and they would be able to get that heads up. And then aside from the uh, informative content on all of the different breeds in the database, um, that's about it. The next thing that I want to do is take a look at Wessie's report. So again, this is a report from last year. However, BasePods is constantly updating. So um, this report has been updated in the last year, and so I'm seeing a completely fresh report. The breed analysis interestingly shows that Wessie has more association genetically with these distinct breed groups than Forrest does. So Polycat uh, takes up a much smaller percentage of his genetics, which I found interesting. Uh, if I slide it even all the way over to Confident, the Western breed group is about 50%. And then on the wildcat index, we see some more interesting differences between Wessie and Forrest. So apparently he's more like a leopard than Forrest is. Uh, so that's interesting. And apparently he's also more like a tiger. So I guess that makes sense since he's orange. Again, we don't really know which traits these similarities uh, or proximities are associated with. Like Forrest, Wessie came back clear for all of these health markers and... That's about it for Wessie's report. In October, BasePaws plans to release a big update. So all existing reports are going to get updated and they're going to add on some interesting information on cat traits, as well as a few additional breeds. So these reports should look a lot more uh, rich after that update. So remember that's going to apply to older reports as well as the reports of anyone who purchases a kit after October. The other thing I want to mention is that BasePaws is now including a free dental report with every health and breed analysis. So this adds a lot of value. So I've used their dental health report. It was extremely helpful. It gave me some really interesting insights on Wessie's dental health. And these are things that could potentially save me hundreds or even thousands of dollars down the road. Normally their dental health kit costs $79 on its own. So adding it on to that normal price is a again, a really big value. And so this offer is going on for the next 12 months. When we consider all of those reports, plus the upcoming update, and all of those updates that we anticipate coming in the future, this does look like a pretty good value. For $129, we're getting a lot of different reports and a lot of insights into your cat's genetic makeup and health. So if you would like to see what the Base Plus Cat DNA test can reveal about your cat, you can check out the link in the description. But remember that we're also offering an opportunity to win a free Base Paws DNA test. So through the first week of October 2021, you're able to enter and win this full uh, kit, including that dental health report. So I'll put a link to that giveaway in the description. The only requirements are that you live in the United States and that you visit the Base Paws Facebook page. No obligation to like or take any action on the page. Uh, you can just check it out and then you will be eligible to enter. So that's about it for me today. I hope that you found this helpful, that it gave you a better understanding of what Base Paws is doing and gave you maybe a little bit of a better understanding of cat DNA testing in general. As always, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more product reviews, buyer's guides, and information on all things cats, please subscribe to the All About Cats channel and click the notification bell so you get the news every time we release a new upload. Thank you again, and I will see you next week. Bye.